Welcome back, everybody, for our very last Dawn of the Dukes campaign. Wow, we've been flying through these. At least it feels like it. They've, uh, they've both been really good so far. But we have one more, and again, it pretty much occurs right during it, the end and a little bit after uh, Jadwiga, but it's going to be Jan Ziska from 1405 to 1424, where we will be playing as the Bohemians, the second new Civ. Yeah, Bohemia, Moravia, Hungary, Poland, Teutonic Order, Holy Roman Empire, the One-Eyed Wanderer. Uh, I believe this is also six scenarios, and also this is done by Hockey Sam, uh, which I th I'm really interested in because usually Hockey Sam uh, does the, you know, quote-unquote easy campaigns, you know, like the one-sword campaigns. And this is going to be a three-sword campaign. It's supposed to be hard, so I'm really interested to see what, uh, what he has in store for us here. But we will have the One-Eyed Wanderer. Magnets quarrel, the realm trembles, and commoners bleed. My beloved Bohemia has been enveloped by a grim shadow. Led by the devious and cruel Heinrich of Rosenberg, some of our more ambitious lords have formed the so-called Union of Nobility and deposed King Wenceslaus. In a world governed by God and greed, it seems that not even monarchs are safe. Now I, too, have been swept up by this chaos. They call me Jan Zizka for the eye that I lost in my That youth. is quite the mustache. For most of my life, I tended to my family's small estate in Trotsnova, while all around me, our homeland slowly went to the dogs. Once I inherited the land, I sold it to seek my fortune in Prague, where I became a retainer of the court. Now, with no king to serve and enemies closing in on all sides, I must once more forge a new life for myself. Having gathered what little I own, I set out into the country. There, in this vibrant land of verdant forests, majestic mountains, and rushing rivers, I shall seek out those bold men who would join me in a desperate battle against this foul tyranny. My enemies take me for a fool, mocking me as one-eyed Zizka. But it is they who cannot see. Like the one-eyed god of whom the men in the far north tell tales, I have a talent for the art of war. Well then. Let's get the volume back. Destroy Han Heinrich of Rosenberg's castle. Jan Zizka is restricted to the castle age and can support a pop limit of 75. You have no way to obtain villagers. Plunder enemy convoys, farms, and villages to acquire resources and scout the map for production buildings and all that stuff. Rosenberg castle is heavily fortified. Avoid it until you have large military force and siege equipment. Uh, destroying local settlements yields considerable plunder in the short term, but conquering them will assure a consistent flow of supplies. The aristocrat Jan Sokol has taken an interest in Jan Jishka's skill set. Continue to impress him with successful exploits and he will support your army. Uh, oh, we're in Cyan for this campaign. This, this must have made T. West happy. Uh, Jan Jishka and a small company of mercenaries camped to the north, poised to strike at uh, Rosenberg possessions in southern Bohemia. Heinrich of Rosenberg, Zizka's main adversary, resides in his fortified citadel to the far south, but has sent out armed patrols and brigands, and he trains stuff. Bohemian peasants are hanging around. They're occupied by Rosenberg forces, uh, and vulnerable convoys of supplies will regularly travel the main roads, roads to Rosenberg Castle. Uh, Heinrich's faction, the Union of Nobility, is based uh, inside Rosenberg Castle, whereas Heinrich's policy is primarily defensive. The Union is far more belligerent and will send out a bunch of stuff. Alrighty. The Rosenberg scum rule this region from their citadel in the south. We shall tear it down, brick by brick. Alrighty. So we are the Bohemians in this campaign, obviously. We will need resources to sustain our army. Harry these lands and rob our enemies so that we might be instead. Um... Okie dokie. 
So yeah, just to briefly go through Bohemians, they are a pretty unique sieve. They are a gunpowder and monk sieve. They have, well, I guess I can just show you in case you are uh, not as familiar. Their blacksmith, monasteries, and universities cost less. You can get hand cannons and canemistry and castle age. Your spearmen do more damage. Your villagers are affected by fervor and sanctity and you get mining camp tax for free. And I'll go through the other stuff as we come to it. Uh, they do have really lousy cavalry. I guess we can do that. But I mean, we have a lot of knights. Yeah, man, you do that. This settlement will provide us with meager supplies. But if we are in a pinch, we can burn it and take its stockpiles for our own. We can master these cars north of our camp. They're ah. keep our bold fighters strong. Oh, so it's kind of like Hanflo Galash. Anyway, uh, let's play the long game. Let's not uh, destroy the baddies. Oh, okay. See, now they have chemistry. But we don't have a university, unfortunately. And everyone is either enemy or neutral to us. That seems like a nice little introductory scenario. Bravo, young Cisco, bravo! Take this gold and hire some mercenaries. Yeah. This settlement will provide us with meager supplies. But if we are in a pinch, we can burn it and take its stockpiles for our own. Wait, we don't have a market. Well, I guess that just reinforces that we're training mostly archers. Like, the thing with Bohemians is that they really aren't, you know, an archer sieve or a cavalry sieve. Like, Poles can do archers and cavalry. Bohemians are... Oh. Good thing we were scouting and not paying attention to our army. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I want. That's not what I want. So, uh, Jan Jishka is kind of like a boyar. Got a cool mace thing. Uh, we probably want to regroup just a little bit. But yeah, this, this little pond has plenty of fishies. I guess, like, archers and pikemen are probably going to be what we want to go for. Like, I really don't want to focus on cavalry. Unfortunate that we don't have, like, a, uh... Monastery. But I guess we need to hear about Jan Hus first. Just trying to build up my forces a little bit. I mean, this is considered, you know, the hardest of the new campaign, so I'm uh, going to try and be at least a little bit careful. You know, insofar as I can ever be careful. Ah, ha, ha! It has 5,000 HP, so does this blacksmith. Oh my goodness. What about these buildings? They all have 5,000 HP, even the towers! I'm not really sure what that does. Does it give us food? I 
Whatever. Uh, let's strike back out. You got stuff to do. And yeah, we can do uh, a couple more fishing ships. I mean, there are lots of fish here. But yeah, seems interesting. Oh, wait. There is a little bit more over here that I'm kind of curious about. This seems like the sort of scenario that, uh... Wait, what? Why are you attacking my light cab? Yeah, yeah, sure, whatever. Oh. Okay, so the cows give you food. Cows! We could pasture these cows north of our Oops. Oh no, cow, you don't need to fight. Ooh. That's great, man. Oh, that's not great. Okay, yeah, let's get some reinforcements first. Do we want to get, like... Oh, yeah, we just, let's just get some pikemen. Wait, no, we can get two blacksmith upgrades at once. Oh, boy. A very nice little pasture over here we have. Very notably. Yeah, unfortunately, this sieve does not have thumb ring. Otherwise, it would just kind of be a very... Like, you know, they... I remember we were talking decision about this in our interview. Like, if this sieve had thumb ring, then it would just be, like, another archer sieve. Like, they really wanted to make it, you know, a gunpowder sieve. But the archers still help... Not make it too scary. Not like, you know, launch chimera, which it's like, the sieve can only do weird things. Like, the sieve can play normal. Yeah, the stock is pretty, uh, pretty good. I want to send the guy over here. I really want to know what's over here, man. Could be some more cows. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yeah, it's the Union of Nobility. Well, let's try and get our reinforcements in. Oh, wait, I just remembered why we're Cyan. We're, we're Cyan because in Barbarossa 1, Bohemia is Cyan. If that's indeed what uh, what Hockey Sam was going for, that's a, that's a nice little touch, got to say. Yep. All right, Pikeman in front. Do your extra bonus damage. Appreciate a 
a man who fights valiantly under unfavorable conditions. I offer you these fighting men as a token of my favor. Now bring fire and ruin to our traitorous enemies. I'll take him. I should probably get plus two cav defense. Where are you going? It helps Yanni boy here. Zoki Gajuish. Um, please don't get stuck. Now we are neutral to gray. So we need to be careful that we don't just kill the villagers. Although, have we ever gotten any resources from them? <laughs> I don't know. I've... This settlement will provide us with meager supplies. But if we are in a pinch, we can burn it and take it. Stockpiles for our own. Leave my possessions alone. Hello. And I will offer you a gift. And I will watch your long, painful demise. Well, you're a comically evil villain. I feel like this is here for a reason. I feel like if we destroy this university, we'll get chemistry or something cool like that. That's what I want to believe. And obviously we're just trying to scout as much as possible. What's over here? This has to lead to something. A house. Oh. I'll take some monks. Happily. Oh yeah, we have to be getting some kind of resources. You already said that, dude. Oh wait, what? I don't know. If, I don't know if there's anything over there. Well, there's the castle. But let's go to these other towns first. It's weird because, like, I think we're getting some sort of trickle of resources, but it's not, like, showing it to us as, like, a tribute. Healing up these guys would be quite nice. Ah! Bravo, Yanjisko, bravo! Take this gold and hire some medicine. I will. I will, boss. Oh. Um. Well, those towers have like a bajillion HP. And we have murder holes, so that's pretty darn nice. Although they have some illegal Teuton light cav. Let's 
Start getting some rams for our, uh, you know, big attack. Oh. How about using the closed siege workshops? Oh, you're not going to go for my monk, are you? Okay, good. That would be a mean thing to do. I want to. I want to know, man. Capram, TY, very much. Uh, I mean, I kind of just want to see, like, what's all around the map and stuff. I mean, we probably could just rush the castle, but you know, I want to see what I want to see what's going on with the map. I want to go explore. with meager supplies. But if we are in a pinch, we can burn it and take its stockpiles for our own. I feel like I've heard that somewhere before. Can't say where. No, don't kill the cows! Wait, what are you doing? I don't have a cow, like, accidentally hotkeyed. No, I don't... Yeah, no idea. Just go that way, I guess. Uh, please don't stand. Ooh, hand cannons. Fancy. Wait, aren't we the traitors, though? Just saying. <laughs> I don't know if it's intentional, but uh, Jan Jishka doesn't really have much uh, in the way of line of sight. Because, <laughs> you know, he's one-eyed and everything. Ah! Wait, no! Snipe it. We are, we learned our lesson from uh, Yadviga. Oh, uh, that, that's unfortunate. Nope. Got it. Oh, we done goofed. I mean, I still have a large army. Wait, can I cross over here? No. Yeah, I probably shouldn't delay anymore. I should probably just go for it. Probably just some more villages. Especially as I have all these rams and I'm really closing in on uh, Max Pop. Oh, and of course, there's literally nothing over here. Anyway, let's uh, scout with this monk and see what we're up against. Are 
All right, now we're max pop. I mean, it's, it's just a place, you know. You know. You know what? I really don't care about those guys. Whatever. We're uh, we're going for the big prize. Glad we have cap rams. Hey, we're a pack of ferrets, not weasels. Damn. Damn. All right, we should have this. No problem. Like, yeah, I mean, these guys are doing whatever, but I don't care. Yeah. Dang. The enmity. Oh wait, what's the what's this all about? I don't know. See the outro stuff. Bohemian victory. I, didn't, I, I guess I haven't actually won a game with Bohemians yet. Feels bad, man. It is strangely gratifying to destroy the livelihoods of those who have extinguished your own. Yet, life on the road as a hired sword is perilous. When you walk the edge of a knife, any error may prove fatal. While I was busy raising the Rosenberg fortress to a smoldering ruin, Heinrich's forces captured a mercenary band led by my own brother. For refusing to give us up, he was cruelly slain along with his men. I came too late to rescue him, and my rash decision left me chained in a cell, awaiting my grim fate. I can only pray to God that I might prove as steadfast and unyielding in the face of torment and death as my brother was. Dang. It was a good little RPG intro scenario. I enjoyed it. Let's see what else there was on the map. There had to have been some other stuff. I wonder if these gates... Oh, I guess that's where the like supply patrol things came in. Anyway, this was just another town we could liberate. A couple cows over here. We actually got almost everything. There was another town that we could have gotten. Wait. How on earth would we get over here? Ah, there were some transports. But we'd have to transport just to get all the way over here, just so we could fight those guys, just so that they'd give us some more resources. That seems like quite the hassle. I think we did just fine as is. Anyway, anyway, that was our first of Janjishka, and yeah, the One-Eyed Wanderer. So, hope you all enjoyed, and next up will be Courage and Coin. See you guys next time.